Here, one second. Keep your head down. Gone the next. Grant Broussard. I like to run. Is one of the fastest eight-year-olds in the country. That's him winning the 100-meter dash at a recent track meet. He's also chasing down big goals. My dream is to make it to the Olympics. For now, he's headed to the National Junior Olympic Championships. Grant qualified for the big meet in Texas later this month. He'll run the 100 and 200. I'm immensely proud. Grant's dad, Kirk Broussard, Make sure you go in here to puck it. Is his coach. He says Grant caught the running bug at a YMCA camp last summer. Where I really knew something was different there was uh, they asked to move him up to race the fifth graders at seven years old, and he beat all the fifth graders. So I said, okay, well, maybe we got something here. Grant joined the Tualatin Youth Track Club. His first track meet was in April. Now, Grant's top 13 in the nation. He's hooked on his track thing. He's also learning about sportsmanship. Like after the race, shake hands and say good game. And how to stay grounded. I'm always able to remind him, hey, it's great what you're doing in sports, but at home, you know, the most important thing is to put God first. Qualifying for the Junior Olympics is a big deal for Grant. I got super happy, and we also made a lemonade stand to get more money. Grant's dad started a GoFundMe to help raise $4,000 for traveling expenses. To make this trip happen, you know, it's unexpected, that costs. All right, do your pogo hops. Kirk just wants Grant to have fun and focus on his races, especially his start. When they say set, uh, your butt has to be high, and when I say pu uh, go, you, your head has to be down. Seems simple enough. Let's see what you got, Grant. On your marks, get set, go. You didn't really think I was going to race, did you? Grant is the athlete you want to see. And of course, we want to help him get to nationals. We'll post that GoFundMe link on KGW.com. And of course, we'll let you know how he does. In Wilsonville, Katherine Cook, KGW News.